In this video, we're going to do some data logging to an SD card. Now, as you can see here, I've got the Arduino Uno under here and stacked on top. We've got the, an SD Shield. This is the SD Shield 3.0. And we're just going to be logging one analog input. I've got a little potentiometer here uh, connected between the power supply, 5 volts and ground, and then the center contact goes over to A0. So that's the setup. Pretty simple. We're going to start out with the data logging sketch from the Arduino SD library and then we'll modify that a little bit for our purposes. Okay, let's have a look at the sketch. In fact, before we do that, I've got the uh, Arduino connected. Let's look at the uh, serial monitor here. Now, Hopefully you can see that. We're logging. We've got a delay of one second in there, so we're logging 497. If I tweak the potentiometer just a little bit, 368, 235, 201, and so forth. So we're actively logging analog data from the potentiometer. Let's have a look at the sketch. A few comments to start out with. And again, I took this sketch from the um, SD library, Arduino library, and in that case, they were logging three different sensors, and they built a string and stored that way. But I'm interested in just one input, and I don't want comma delimited or anything like that. I just want one input per line in the data file. And so I've tweaked this thing just a little bit. So we start out with a few comments. We include SPI and we include the SD libraries. And here's a constant. The chip select is 4 in this case because I'm using the SD Shield 3.0. And here's our setup. We open serial communications. Serial begin at 9600. And then we wait for the serial port to open with this while loop here. While not serial, we wait. The next thing is, let's see if the card is present and can be initialized. So we said, if not SD begin, okay, that's a problem. <laughs> then we say serial print that the card failed is not present. So we don't do anything more. That's just a return after that. But let's say it did find the card, and then we say serial print the line card initialize. So that's the setup part. In the loop part, this is where I simplified the, the uh, sketch from the library quite a bit. <laughs> I included more comments maybe, but the, the sketch is pretty darn simple. We have something here, an integer I'm calling sensor, and that's the analog read of A0. I didn't even give it a different name, okay, because this is, I'm only looking at one analog input. We want to create a file on the SD card that we can write to. So this is the line where we did that. File, data file, equals SD open, and then it's going to be called datalog.txt, and this file is a write, to write to it. Okay, now then if the data file has been successfully created, we go ahead and write to it. If data file is there, then we're going to say data file print the line sensor. Okay, that's our analog read from um, zero. And then we want to close the data file. Data file close. And then we print out, just because I'm keeping track of it here online, say we're going to print out serial print, send it to the uh, serial port, and then here's the delay. Now in the field, when I want to capture data rapidly, some moving object or some sound or whatever, I probably would not have this delay in here. I want to capture as quickly as I can, one, one capture after another. If the data file wasn't created, we get this error message, error opening the data, data log.txt. And that's it. That's the extent of the uh, capture. 
So we're looking at A0. We open a file on the SD card and we write to it. Take another capture, write again. And we write to the serial port too. So fairly straightforward. You can see this sketch on my website at rickmckeon.com.